Hello and welcome to How to Build a Pivot Table with a Data Model. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just get started. We're going to build a pivot table that uses two separate tables as its data source. How are we going to do that? We're going to push the tables into the data model and then use that at, to build the, the pivot table. This is opposed to using a single data table uh, for the pivot table data source. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's get to it. First in Excel 2016 for Windows, we need to enable Power Pivot. How do we do that? We click on Data, head to the Manage Data Model button or the Go to Power Pivot Windows, the tooltip that pops up. Clicking on that will ask us to enable. We would normally just click uh, Enable, but I'm going to show you another way to do it. Uh, head to Excel Options, Add-ins, Com Add-ins Go, and now we can also do it from here. So either way is fine. They both get you to the same place, which is that we now have a Power Pivot ribbon tab. Now we need to load our source data tables into the data model. How do we do that? We just click on the manage command icon and that is going to open up the power pivot window. And now we're going to connect to the external data source. If it was in a database, we'd go here. If it was in a data service, we'd go here. If it's in some someplace else, we'd go here. Ours happens to be in an Excel file. So we click here next and then we browse. I'm going to browse to the data table. Use first row as column headers, click next, and finish. That shows us it's loaded 16 rows of data. We click close, and now we can see that table in the data model window. Okay, now we need to load another table from other sources. Okay, Excel file next, browse. Now we need the lookup table. This is our chart of accounts, it has our account numbers and account names. We use first rows, column headers, next, and finish. It's going to pull in our rows, hit close. And now we have uh, two tables in the data model. Our data table, which is all the transactions, it has the account number, but no corresponding account names. We need the account names. Fortunately, we have a chart of accounts sitting here in the lookup table, which has the account name and account number and account name columns. Before we do anything else, we need to define the relationship. That is to identify the common or shared column between the two tables. There are many ways to do this. One way is to hit diagram view. And then we just click and drag. So we start by clicking the account num field in the data table. Click and drag that over to the account num field in the lookup table. Excel tells us that the relationship is done. And now we can build our report. Pivot table. Pivot table. We'll go with a new worksheet. And now our pivot table field list looks like normal, except instead of seeing the fields, we actually see the tables. And we can expand them to see each of the fields within the tables. And at this point now, we can mix and match, and we can pick columns from, from either or both tables to insert into our report. For example, we want the account name in rows and we want the amount in values, okay? And now we have uh, combined data from both of these tables, inserted it into a pivot table using the data model. And using multiple tables is one, but uh, was one of many um, benefits that we get by using the data model as a pivot table data source. Hey, hope it helps. See you on the next one. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.